back, everybody. And so we'll start the sound healing part of today. And put your headphones on if you have them. Put your eye masks on if you have them. Keep your cameras on if you can so I can still see you, if you don't mind. And so let's start by taking a few deep breaths where we started was with breathing where we are is with breathing and where we'll finish is with breathing so take a few deep breaths and tune into your heart space And particularly, if you would like, tune into places inside of you where there is discomfort, where there is something that you're holding on to that you no longer wish to have part of your life. And just very gently allow the sounds and my voice and the poetry and the music to gently dissolve that place, to gently, with each moment, come back to your breath, come back to the music, come back to your heart, so that this next time period becomes a journey into the heart, a journey into the breath, a journey into joy, a journey into love. Thank you. 
Love is the funeral pyre where I have laid my living body. All the false notions of myself that once caused fear and pain have turned to ash as I near God. What has risen from the tangled web of thought and sinew now shines with jubilation. Through the eyes of angels and screams from the very guts of infinite existence itself, love is the funeral pyre where the heart must lay its body. Love is the funeral pyre where love must lay its body. Love is the funeral pyre where love must lay its body.
and throne your soul is destined for. You should not have to think much about it. Is it not clear that an apprentice needs a teacher who himself has charmed the universe to reveal its wonders inside his God? Happiness is the great work, though every
every heart must first become a student to that one who really knows about love. We are not in pursuit of formalities here. Through the stairway of existence, oh, through the stairway of existence, have you now come? Have we all now come to the beloved's door? Open it. Open it. Open it.
Think about this for a second. God, being God, having infinite knowledge, not only knew your every thought and action, your life would ever experience, even before you were born, but also knew being the divine creator, but also being the divine creator has etched every moment of your existence with his own hand, with the precision and care no artist ever could. Think about this for a moment. I have never heard a bird or the sun or a star or a tree ever say to God, I am sorry. There seems to be a great reward for clear thinking. All existence is a pawn in the friend's hand. Look, one gets wings and gifts to this world. Music each morning. One turns into such an extraordinary light that you can actually become the sustainer of this whole planet. One makes a thousand moons go mad with love and blush all night. When one can surrender the illusion, the crutch of pain, of free will, they'll still live for the benefit of others, the highest of moral codes is achieved.
Time is the shop where everyone works hard to build enough love to break the shackle that binds us. Wise men keep talking about wanting to meet her. Women sometimes pronounce the word of God a little differently. They can use more feeling and skill with the heart lute. All the world's movements, apparent chaos and suffering, I know now happen in the splendid unison. Our tambourines, our tambourines are striking the same thigh. Hafez stands at a juncture in this poem. There are a thousand new wheels I could craft on a wagon and place you in, lead you to a glimpse of the ultimate and seasons in another dimension. Yet again, God will have to drop you back at the shop where you still have work to do with love. where you still have work to do with knowing your breath, where you have still have work to do with finding joy within. Thank you. 
So take a few deep breaths and gently stretch, gently feel your body, gently notice how things might have changed over when we started this afternoon. Notice maybe that you're breathing differently, deeper, slower, more relaxed. Notice that your focus may be more into your heart instead of in your thoughts. Notice that there may be some 